dear viewers assalamu alaikum today we will discuss that how we can choose two different type of proteins and then how we can make a proper 3d structure of a protein or proper folding of a protein or enzyme so to first of all i will show you different tools which can be used for uh, proper folding of the protein by using sequence of a protein so here we have different tools which can be used for proper folding or 3d folding of a protein the first is fire 2 the detail of this tool is given here similarly cph models swiss model orion aitasir which is uh, mostly used or most preferable tool which is used for 3D model prediction and then EasyPred 3D, Robita, Pepfold 3D and similarly other tools are given here which can be used according to our demand and according to our uh, sequence of a protein that uh, how longer the sequence is. Uh, first of all let's pause I show you that uh, if we are using fire 2 for fire 2 uh, we made a 3d structure of a sequence of protein so I would like to show you that here here I have uh, uh, written here the sequence of protein or we can directly copy paste a sequence of protein and then uh, we will give our email address and then job description or we can choose the file we can directly upload our sequence file from here or we can also upload uniprod accession code and then we will go to fire search uh, let's suppose we have uh, this protein and uh, I am going to uh, carry out the this the sequence of this protein or the proper folding of this protein or the structure uh, let's suppose I am going to show sequence so here we have sequence of protein I am going to copy it this is discovery studio visualizer and I have made a lot of videos on this tutorial so we can use this sequence here we will directly paste the sequence of our this protein here and then go to search uh, my network is uh, not working properly so you can uh, make a you can make a search here and then after some time it will give you results on the screen and also you will get email after folding of the protein that I have shown you before <clears throat> Similarly, we can use Aitasir. So this tool is also available for the proper folding of protein and protein structure. And uh, we can copy paste the sequence here. The sequence uh, within 10 to 1500 amino acid residues. So we can use 1500 amino acid residues in FASTA format and then just uh, we can also choose file here. Then we have to uh, in, put here email address and password so before this we have to register this uh, Aitasir tool and after registering we will get password and then run Aitasir so from here I will run and then we will get the uh, proper 3d folding of protein another tool which is uh, also important and it is EasyPred 3d web server for this tool we have to uh, paste here email address then we can choose file or we can upload file uh, like here uh, we have this text in text format this file and we can select this file also we can save this file and then we can save as I am going to save at desktop and then we can choose file from the desktop so this is our file and then we can submit to server or again we can uh, 
paste our sequence here and then we will go to uh, submit and also we can use this pdb template uh, now we uh, want to fuse two different proteins and we will paste the sequence of both proteins here like here we have this sequence and uh, another sequence is here so we will go to sequence show sequence okay so this sequence we will copy this sequence it is our n terminal of our protein so we will paste it first here and after that we want to join another sequence which is uh, here okay and uh, we will we will also take a sequence of this protein and uh, show sequence now this protein we will copy this protein and then we will paste it here okay now after pasting this now this sequence we have we want to make uh, a protein proper 3d folding of uh, this fusion protein and we will go to intensive mode not normal mode so in intensive mode we can join two or three different proteins and then we will go to fire search and after that we will get our uh, results after running this job and we have already submitted uh, the sequence of uh, that uh, residues that protein we joined together and here it is showing that fire 2 is processing and it is generating our results then these results will be emailed to us and we can open that results and also we can and the results will also open uh, on this desktop so we are waiting for that when the results will open we can uh, save this pdb file and uh, again we can copy paste here on this uh, window and then we can superimpose by using this tool that that is macromolecules and then superimpose proteins so by using this tool we can check that the structure of this protein that we have uh, joined and then the structure that is obtained from fire 2 which gives us the 3d structure of the protein so we are still waiting for the results when the results will open um, i will show you the results that uh, how we can now we got our results here on fire 2 if we look at the results these results will be emailed to us so here we have our email address description of the job and uh, id of the job then the job type is intensive mode so uh, i would like to tell you that uh, if uh, we have uh, fusion proteins are the proteins that we have much different sequences then we will uh, select intensive type uh, not normal type so in intensive type it will take more time almost it, ta it took uh, one an hour and uh, after that we got our results we can download uh, pdb file from here and uh, all zip results here it gives the confidence key that uh, the residues which are at high confidence are shown in red and the residues with uh, low confidence model are given in uh, blue 94 percent of the residues modeled at 95 90 percent greater than 90 percent confidence uh, we can download high resolution images in black background and also in white background and also we can interactive 3d view in js mall image is also shown here model dimensions x and x y z dimensions are given here and then we can download faster sequence again from this one and uh, it also shows secondary structure and disorder prediction domain analysis detailed template information and then uh, here it represents the alignment with different proteins from the uh, sequences uh, which are already present in the pdb like here it is uh, carboxypeptidase 100 percent matches from this sequence to this sequence 
and it uh, uh, almost uh, hundred percent uh, matches from this sequence uh, most of the from 70 percent almost uh, res almost residues matches here and then uh, alignment with another protein which is uh, pro carboxypeptidase like uh, we have carboxypeptidase and uh, we have attached a group at the uh, end terminal uh, of this protein with another so it is showing that it is pro carboxypeptidase and uh, then uh, other sequences so it is showing alignment with some other sequences with uh, different proteins on the PDB okay now if we look at the uh, show the uh, secondary structure and disorder i am going to open it in new tab here interactive 3d model open a new tab and high resolution image in white background okay we can uh, look at here so it is the interactive 3d structure in white background and uh, here are the other results uh, it will open and uh, here we have the final structure download this file okay this is our file now it is opened here and i am going to close this sequence window now this is our before this one now this file i am going to select this file and i am going to open it with the file that we have already uh, joined or merged with each other okay we have pasted it here and it shows a sequence like this if we look at okay i am going to download this pdb final model again and it will show that uh, what is it Okay, if we look at the amino acid sequences of this residue, so it is from isoleucine to asparagine, and uh, here if we look at the results, I am going to put it here. So this is our protein that we have that we have connected. I am also taking this sequence show sequence. So here is the sequence that we have open it in fire two and we have made a structure. And this is our protein. Copy this protein paste here now this is our protein which is present here okay now if we look at the residues of this sequence So how much residues this has? So now it is folded like this and uh, it is shown here that this structure had has been uh, folded into uh, these structures like uh, making a different 3d model which is somewhat different from the previous one 
so this chain is modified and the sequence of amino acid is same that we obtained like this and the sequence of amino acid for this one now it is representing that both the sequences both groups that is final casp2 and the 6th rgp so here are the sequences of both proteins if you look at here both proteins are uh, the amino acid sequence of both are same but our protein which we obtained from fire 2 is uh, folded more than this one and this protein is merged in this structure so in this way we uh, analyze that uh, fire 2 is uh, more authentic and it gives us good results than our um, manual joining with the uh, amide linkage but we can uh, do this and then we can analyze our results so thanks for watching my video i hope uh, you understand uh, this phenomena and uh, how we can obtain